We're very excited about this. This is uh, really the only person that we wanted in this offseason as far as unrestricted free agents are concerned. And, you know, we're just very excited to sign her to a three-year deal today. Something you should know about Kara, she's extremely loyal. It's one of the things that we really like. We had a chance to sit down with her a couple weeks ago and speak with her and Damien, her husband, who's here with us today. And, you know, Kara never wanted to leave Sacramento, and that says a lot about her. Win or lose, Sacramento was her home. And it was very important for her when she went to a new team to find that next place that she could call home. And Mike has spoken to her ad nauseum as well as Damien, um, you know, since that time. And, you know, ultimately it was about a perfect fit. And we think that, you know, Kara being here in Connecticut has found her new home. We hope that she will retire with us. I know that's her goal and that's our goal. So we're very excited to introduce Kara Lawson. Kara, come on up. Montgomery. We're going to have uh, Coach say a few words, and we'll have uh, Kara come on up. Thank you. Uh, just a couple brief comments. Unlike the last press conference where I rambled on for about 20 minutes, this will be very brief. Um, Renee's quite glad about that. Um, Obviously, this is, uh, this is an exciting day for our franchise, uh, partly because uh, this offseason uh, was, as, I, as I've said a couple times, uh, our biggest and best opportunity to change uh, the direction of where our team was going. And uh, unfortunately uh, for the league, but fortunately for us, the Sacramento situation did change a lot of things, and it became the right time Maybe there's a karma involved to making the trade we made, uh, getting to Maya Walker uh, in the dispersal draft, and now having the chance uh, to sign Kara as a free agent. Uh, it seems like every year for the last five years, I would pick up the phone two or three times a year and call John Wisnett at Sacramento. And as soon as he saw it was, he would answer the phone and say, no, I'm not trading Kara. What else do you want to talk about? So the conversation was usually over. And... Uh, Finally, this is our opportunity to bring um, one of the premier uh, guards in our league to our team uh, to um, get back to a system that I would like to run offensively where we have two terrific point guards who can both play either position. I think uh, Asia and our front line are very happy with uh, what we've done uh, to you know, change the, the team a little bit and uh, you know, get her some great opportunity uh, opportunities on the court to play with these two guards. Uh, Kara, uh, I had the pleasure of, of being around during the uh, entire Olympic experience and the couple years building up to that. And whatever I thought about her before that was only enhanced by that experience. Um, she's going to bring leadership here. She's going to bring uh, not only great basketball s skills, but a sense of what it's like to be a great pro. And uh, you know, she's going to invest herself in our community, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, she and her husband, Damien, uh, have, you know, made a commitment to, to do things here and hopefully to end their career here uh, with the Connecticut Sun. Um, as part of that, the reason I want to bring Kara back up again and let her answer questions, uh, last season uh, Kara was the winner of the Kim Peratt uh, Sportsmanship Award in our league. And, and with that award, uh, there is a, a monetary involvement for her uh, to donate to a charity of her choice. And she has picked today to, uh, to do that, start that part of it as her first day, besides signing uh, her contract with the Sun. This is her next thing that she would like to do uh, to kick off her career here in Connecticut. So I'm going to bring Kara back up and uh, have her do this. Chris, you want to? Uh, Damien and I chose the uh, Special Olympics uh, of Connecticut uh, to donate $5,000. Um, Special Olympics is something I've been involved in since, I mean, I was eight or nine years old uh, down in D.C. and uh, also in, in Virginia working uh, with the team and, and playing basketball with, with them on the weekend. So um, we're, we're hoping to, to start a great partnership with Special Olympics. 
uh, hopefully host some kids at, at games, um, at Sun, Sun Home Games, get the, give them an opportunity to uh, meet some of the players and uh, just interact and, and uh, hopefully get involved with some of their events here in Connecticut. So. Thank you very much on behalf of Special Olympics Connecticut. Welcome to Connecticut and best of luck with the Sun this year. Bring us a championship. <laughs> Um, well, I'm, I'm excited to be here. I um, want to thank the, the Sun organization, Mitchell, Chris, uh, Coach Tebow, uh, all the coaching staff. Uh, it wasn't an opportunity I wasn't um, thinking about as far as uh, the unfortunate um, incident of, of Sacramento folding. And so I never really gave much thought as to where I would uh, end up or where I would, would like to play. Um, but when teams came calling and I had the opportunity to look at um, different options, um, Connecticut um, jumped right out at me for a number of reasons. Um, one, I think, um, you know, Chris talked about loyalty, and I think this is a, an organization that um, has, a, has a great core, uh, has a great group of people that are committed um, to the league and um, has had um, great consistency and longevity as far as um, the front office and the coaching staff. And so that, that meant a lot to me. That was similar um, to what I had um, played under in Sacramento. Um, the, um, the roster um, was intriguing to me. Um, I have uh, some familiarity uh, with, with, a, with a lot of the players. Um, of course, the, the front court and, um, of course, Asia. Um, being able to, to play against her for a long time now. Um, you know, I was talking with the coach last week, and um, one of the things that, um, that I've always envied um, playing against her is um, the guards that get to play with her and get to be in pick and rolls with her because um, she's, she's kind of a dream scenario in terms of um, the type of post player you want to be in a pick and roll with because she's so versatile. So um, I'm looking forward to, uh, to playing in that with her. And, um, of course, Sandrine um, is, is a great young talent. And then Demaya Walker is one of my teammates uh, in Sacramento. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then, um, you know, we have the number one pick. Um, we better be taking Tina. And uh, <laughs> so uh, when, uh, when we hopefully do that, um, of course, um, she's, she's having a great year and, and will bring, uh, um, you know, I think a lot to this team. And so that was um, a really exciting ball part for me as a perimeter player. I know how important it is um, to have that kind of depth. Um, and then, um, you know, our guard play, um, having an opportunity to play with Renee. Um, I haven't had a chance to, to play with her before um, and only against her, not, not very often, but of course, um, watching her career and, and uh, knowing the, the type of player in person and what she brings um, to the game. I think we both offer a, a lot of similar things in that, um, we're, we're versatile on the offensive end, and, and um, you know we can um, kind of play off one another. I foresee us playing off one another really, really well. Um, so all that was exciting to me, and um, I felt like this was this is a, a perfect match uh, for me to be here, and I'm excited about the opportunity, and I think uh, we have a great chance um, to be a team, you know, in the next four to five years um, that's going to contend every year. And that's what I was looking for. I was looking for a group of players that is committed to improving and that's committed to, to being a championship level team, uh, not for just next year, not for just the next two years, but for the next four or five years. And, and um, I'm, I'm excited to be a part of it.